I've been asked a lot when people hear that I do this as a job or they know me personally. The question I probably get the most is how do people buy into the Trump stuff? How can people have such a cult-like dedication to him? It doesn't make sense if you've never been in that bubble. And it doesn't make sense to me either. But there are a few different explanations. One of them is the media infrastructure that's been built around Trump and the foundation that a lot of these lies are built on. But but man, I have an example of uh, a big reason why the absurdity of some of the lies that Trump premises his arguments on are believed in by people. And it's because for many of them, it starts early. And if you from being a teenager or earlier, we're having certain ideas reinforced and a certain worldview constructed by the time you're independent enough to ideally be starting to, to question some of these ideas coming from political leaders like Trump, you, you're already so indoctrinated, to use a term MAGA uses a lot, that there's not a ton of hope unless you really critically think your way out of it, of understanding why so many of these things are wrong. Well, Trump spoke to farmers in Pennsylvania, and at this event, even Trump seemed uncomfortable by a woman telling a story of, of her teenager who was in the audience, and friend of the show, Aaron Rupar, captioned this just simply, it's a cult. Watch this. Then we'll discuss. Uh, can you tell the story of your daughter? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted to say is um, my hardest job is not running three businesses. It's actually being a mom um, to a daughter that is here with me today, Caroline Ray. She's 16 years old. I'm right there. Would you just raise your hand, honey, so that Mr. President can see? <laughs> she is right there. Um, she is not in school today, and she asked that she could be here and she could see you. Um, I'm doing everything that I can to try to give her the truth every day and I just wanted to say and I told you that eight years ago when you were running and she was just eight okay she oh no oh no I, I missed this part a little bit I thought she was 16 okay she was eight years old ready go when you were running and she was just eight years old then every night she would go to bed and I would kneel on the floor next to her bed and we would pray every single night for you and every night she would speak out to God and she would say dear God please let Mr. Trump win please mm. and the night of the election of course she had to go to bed early because she was in school um, but at two o'clock in the morning when we finally knew that you had won I went into her bedroom I scooped her up out of her sound sleep and I was literally tears pouring down and I said baby Mr. Mr. Trump won, baby. He won. He won. And she said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so she is here with... That giggle from Trump, he's like, uh, this is... I like being... Having my butt kissed more than anyone else, but there's a little much. We'll be right back to the video just really quickly. If you're not already, I would appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. We are really close to 1 million subscribers. You can help us get there. Easy, free way. And then we do have merch at LukeBeasleyMerch.com with Harris as a promo code. You can get free shipping. Super cool election themed merch. Check it out. Back to the video. And so she is Thank here you. with us today. And I just wanted to let you know that, that we, are, uh, we are still praying for you. Thank you very much. Well, it's almost more important today. I, oh no, imagine adjudicated rapist wasn't at that time, but at least grabbed by the P word candidate who showed Americans just how low character you could be in so many areas and still attain power. Imagine saying to your eight-year-old, him, we want to beg God for his success. I want you to grow up and admire men like him. Respect people like him. When you grow up and you have less rights than you did today, you can thank him. And I'm going to wake you up at 2 a.m. to celebrate. At an 
at age eight. Eight. If you were being indoctrinated, party of being opposed to indoctrination, MAGA, since age eight, that's cult. That's what that is. One thing I was really grateful for growing up was that until I expressed a political view, I never heard my parents say what their view were, was on stuff. All that was reinforced over and over is voting is really important, participating is really important, keeping up with it's really important. So we would watch uh, states of the union, uh, you know, election night results, etc. But I didn't know where they stood on things, and that allowed for the proper environment. I think I'm going to emulate that when I'm raising kids to to come to my own conclusions. And people, people have such a hard time, understandably so, this poor girl. Ugh, she's only 16 now. She's been going through eight, nine years of this. Unless you have some incredible mentor or you stumble down just the right rabbit hole or you're so good at critically thinking compared to most people, it's going to be so tough to unravel such foundational beliefs when it started that early and it, when it was that emotionally charged. Think about how much love a kid should have for their parents. If, that, if you've seen your mother with that amount of emotional stake from age eight in Trump, it will feel like you're you're violating her trust and, and your loyalty to her as a family member to think other things. And when you hear MAGA parents say they feel like universities are places where kids are getting indoctrinated and don't send them to high school because they might learn about the truths of slavery. And what they mean is they might learn that that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, 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 honey, Mr. Trump won. We're going to have a decent economy because it's what he inherited for a few years and then a crisis is going to hit and everything is going to collapse. He's going to mismanage it because he can't lead. We're seeing this in his character, but we love him so much because he's going to get out the migrants from the country, but he's actually going to lie about the things he's going to do with the border and then he's going <laughs> to... And he's going to be responsible for overturning... Roe v. Wade. Oh, God! Cry with me, daughter. This is, this is what you should feel. That's traumatic. Traumatic, to be clear, is what I'm saying. That's emotionally taxing for that daughter. And when she grows up, if she does come into contact with facts about Trump, like, wait, wait, there was a, there was a trial and he was found to have raped somebody. She's going to go, but, and that's what I'm supposed to support. Ah. Uh, if she does happen to stumble into a classroom where a teacher teaches her basic concepts of critical thinking and she goes, wait, this orange guy is saying that the 2016 primary was partially rigged, which is why certain primaries he didn't win. And then the 2016 popular vote was rigged and then the 2020 vote was rigged and then the criminal case in Florida was rigged and the criminal case in Washington, D.C. was rigged and the criminal case in Fulton County was rigged and the criminal case in the other criminal case in uh, no, no, and in New York was rigged. The civil case where he was adjudicated to be a rapist was rigged. The fraud tax case was rigged. Every bad story about him is rigged. Maybe maybe he's the one who's doing bad things. Thousands of people involved in a conspiracy against him or just he makes some bad decisions. Which one's more possible? <laughs> and if she comes to any of those conclusions, she'll now be faced with utter dread about the mother she loves so dearly, who I'm sure is a beautiful person in every other aspect of her life, being disappointed that she doesn't want to support Trump. They're... You're... Uh, Sorry, this went on way longer than I thought. I have more to show you, but they're praying every night for Trump. 
You're getting down on your knees with your daughter and praying for Trump, as she said. Showing her that that this is the type of dedication she should have to Trump is crazy. It is a cult. Here's another moment from this. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say you have to give the death penalty to your fentanyl dealers who are sending fentanyl. You know, in China, they give the death penalty. They don't have a drug problem because they give the death penalty. But I'm going to say second thing, and this affects you also. It affects everybody. We're losing, hun- we're losing hundreds of thousands of people a year. Comes through the southern border, now the weakest border in history. It was the best border we ever had when I was there. We built hundreds of miles of wall and everything else, and it was the best border now. It's the weakest. Uh, I had a handshake deal with him. It was going to happen very quickly, and then this side didn't, didn't uh, do anything about it. Hey, other question, MAGA? Is... Side note, they say that putting up an LGBTQ flag is indoctrination. Because if you see it, (laughs) apparently, now you want to have sex with men. Um, (laughs) As a man. That's indoctrination. But whatever that we just watched there is not. Okay. Or I guess that's okay indoctrination to them. (sighs) But... Uh, how many things, MAGA, is Trump, or will you let Trump say he had a perfect plan for that was about to be implemented? All of his plans were going to happen two weeks after the election, according to him. He said it about every world situation. Oh, I had a deal relating to Iran, or I had a deal relating to the border. I had a deal with Xi Jinping. I had a deal with Kim Jong-un. I had a deal, and everything was going to go into place two weeks after the election. Either he's lying about having these deals, which is the only option, but let's pretend there's a second option, or he's one of the most sociopathic people who, just to punish America for not voting him in, set every single plan to start right after the election or after he left office. So just in case he didn't win the election, every perfect deal that would have made the world perfect, according to him, wouldn't happen. Either option is not great. He said this about so many things. But also on fentanyl, there's this myth in the minds of MAGA, that Trump had fentanyl overdoses down, that fentanyl wasn't getting across the southern border because of his secure border, and then it shot up under Biden-Harris because they opened the border. In reality, the sharpest spike in year-over-year fentanyl overdoses that we saw happened as Trump was leaving office. As his administration went on, we saw those numbers continuing to climb. And then, wait, The first time in a long time that we've seen a decrease year over year in fentanyl deaths was under, as you can see on this chart, Biden-Harris. They slowed the curve and then decreased it. Flattened the curve, I should say, and then now we're seeing a trajectory downward. Hmm. Always ask yourself if you're out there, MAGA, are you listening? Probably not. Why then have I heard otherwise? When the facts don't align with the narrative you're hearing, there's, there has to be a reason. And maybe that's because if this fentanyl talking point weren't true, maybe it's not true that the border was open. Then maybe it's not true that Trump's the correct person on the border issue. Then maybe it is true that he shot down a once-in-a-generation border security bill by getting Republicans to shoot it down. And then maybe it's true that he doesn't care at all about these issues and you just fear mongering about it i'll leave it there i'm disturbed i'm picturing an eight-year-old the whole world ahead of her so little uh in terms of her understanding of of the bad things that are out there and the good things that are out there but before she can even I don't know. When do people learn certain math? Before she can do nine-year-old math, 
<laughs> she is being taught that the grab them by the P word man is a good leader, is, is who should be the most powerful person in the world. Horrifying. Horrifying. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me in the comments what you thought. Support the show. Get the members only bonus show by clicking that join button below.